Hello my lovely angels, I am back with another island tour video. Today we are visiting the island of Lunaland. She describes her island as a mix of spring cottage and farm core. This island was created by Anna who is known as Lunaland Crossing on Instagram. As always, I will have all of her socials linked in the description below. I've been following Anna for a while now and I've always been blown away by all of her content so I'm just so excited to finally be able to explore this island. So without further ado, let's just get into this island tour video. With every tour, I like to start off by opening up the map so that is what I'm going to do and right away we have her rep Anna so let's just go through the villagers she has. She has Kiki, Henry, Boone, Bo, Willow, Ruby, Chevre, Maple, Marshall, and Wade. What a great group of villagers. That's just too cute. And look at her map. She has a great mix of terraforming and just like flatland. And I like all the little waterscaping she has. This definitely is going to be a fun island to explore. And look at the lake. Oh my gosh, I'm just ready to already explore this amazing island. So let us get into the official tour. So right off from her airport, we have her entrance and we are greeted by some items. So let's see what she has. We have a plain cotton candy, a boba coffee, a ladder, and a wide brim straw hat. Oh, the wide brim straw hat is just a great item. Like, look how cute this is. But I'm gonna wear my do rag and I'm sure I will, you know what, let's just hold the boba. It's just too cute. Look how cute that is. It's probably one of the best in-game items we got. Okay, so with this tour, let us just start exploring. Okay, so here is her entrance. I love how natural and overgrown it is and just the colors. I believe she set her game to, I think it's June or July because it has the deeper green grass and I really like how beautiful and overgrown this area is and she chose really nice items to decorate with. We have a little paint spot here when you first enter and the terraforming is just beautiful and you just have to hop over this little waterscaping. Wow, that is really, really pretty. And she has a little seating spot. Um, so I guess we'll just start with the left side of her map. Oh, I already see a villager house here. How cute is this? I always feel like I would struggle having to decorate a house this close to the beach, but I think she did a really great job and then it leaves room for other space. So I'm not sure whose house this is, but I think it's really cute. And she put the little um, Sanrio item there on top of the little leaf. So it looks like a little lily pad. That is too cute. Now she did say she didn't decorate her beaches, so we're gonna avoid the beaches, but we're just gonna look at all these beautiful houses. I really like how this is just simple, but yet decorated with so many flowers. But yeah, let's just continue on. Another really cute painting area with some nice waterscaping. Again, just I love how natural everything looks and the codes she used. Wow, I didn't know these were the weeds in June, but that looks really nice. And there's just a really cute laundry spot here. Again, just like look at the terraforming. It's very like tucked in. And I've been obsessed with using this like stone um, fencing. And a cute little bridge. I like that it has like the terraform. It just looks so natural again. I definitely feel like I'm on like a cottage core farm island. It's so lovely how everything's placed out. And oh my gosh, look how cute this little build is. I have to, like, look at this. It's so cozy. And there's a little duck here. I don't know. I just think this is the perfect little area for a tiny little barn. How precious is that? Okay, so continuing on. We have a house here. <gasps> okay, I saw her post a picture of this house on Instagram and this is what made me want to get Willow on my current island because look how beautiful her house is. This is just so cute and it definitely looks like a little country farmhouse. Like look how great that is. It's like perfectly fits on the corner. I don't know, it's a great spot for Willow and her house is just stunning and I mean, it just speaks for itself. <laughs> okay, so I think that's 
all with the kind of bottom left side so I'm just gonna continue on this way also I'm like obsessed with this brown path I know it's really popular right now I use it on my island as well and it just looks so perfect against this like green grass Ooh, and she added some inverted pathing here again if you guys don't know what that is it's just using the in-game dirt path and then you put some custom design codes on top of it and it just looks so natural and so beautiful I really really enjoy it and oh my gosh this is another spot I saw on her Instagram that is just so beautiful this is another popular trend is doing diagonal flower gardens and I was definitely inspired by her when I created mine and it just looks so beautiful and it's like the perfect little area in front of her residence services like what it's just so natural and pretty and I like that she used all these white flowers and added a little laundry area you can never go wrong with the laundry area it just this is like the most beautiful little like entrance to the residence services and she added a little lace rug under the silo how precious is that this is just so cute i'm obsessed okay so i think i'm gonna stick to the left side of the island so i'm just gonna continue on this way and oh my gosh she has a little bike rental area here i'm just blown away by all these like design codes i don't know she just really nailed it with the cozy island vibes and this is just so precious and perfect to put right on the side of your residence services okay ooh, i see the lake but i'm gonna go up these stairs first and oh my gosh what is this oh my gosh so this looks like it's like a little cherry orchard surrounded by water how cute is this oh my gosh i'm gonna need a picture here like what Oh my gosh, I got it with my villagers eyes closed. I'm like obsessed with trying to always get their pictures with their eyes closed, but this is just such a cozy and quaint area. And she added a little rowboat here and this little flower basket. This is just the perfect little orchard. Okay, this works. So hopefully this will lead me. This is probably not the right way. Oh, it worked. Okay, so we made it around and we have I think this is Bo's house, let's see. Yes, it's Bo's house, and look how, again, natural and like, I don't know, it's just, it gives me very cottage and farm vibes, which she said is her theme, and I think she just did such a great job at executing all that on her villagers' houses, and I really like this kind of like dirt code here she used. It just looks like she did some farming and it's fresh. I don't know. And these little log benches here. It's just very cozy and just hidden. I really like how she decorated this. And she gave him a little reading nook corner. This is just so cute. I'm obsessed with this. Okay. And then, oh, we have a little bridge here. I think this is Maple's house and look how beautiful this is. I have to get a bigger shot of this like what this is the perfect house for maple what i love all the waterscaping and just the way she decorated it i'm just blown away by all of these villager houses it's just so beautiful and i don't know it just shows that you don't need tons of items but you can still make it so beautiful just how natural it is with all the different flowers and you know this little flower barrel i just think this is so perfect for maple and it's so cozy literally she i'm just obsessed with all of her villager houses <laughs> okay so continuing on i think this is marshall's house i'm like 99 percent sure let's see Yes, it's Marshall's house again, just giving us all the cozy vibes. Oh, I like how she put this rug pattern here and then put the dirt path around it. That's such a smart idea and I think it looks really cute. She gave him a little well. This is just so precious. Okay, so I think this leads, okay. So I'm actually gonna run back around the other way because I want to 
see the lake from the front of you. Okay, so before I go to the lake, let me just go right here. And we have her Able Sisters again. I just feel like I'm in like a little cottage, like fairy tale fantasy island. It's just, it's so magical and beautiful. I don't know. I, I think I have to start playing in June, guys, because this grass is just making it look so beautiful and just so natural. Like, look how pretty this looks. And I love that she has so many trees. Wow, what a great Able Sisters. And she displayed some outfits here. Let's see if we can zoom in. I wonder if they're her own codes, but that's just so cute. Love it. Okay, guys, now for the part that I've been so excited about. She has a lake. Look how beautiful this is. Like, what? I'm just obsessed with lakes, guys. Like, I'm so happy this turned into a trend. It just looks so beautiful. Look at the water twinkling and the clouds. It's just, she set her island to a perfect time. I think this is probably like early morning because of how like soft the colors are, but oh, just a beautiful lake and all the different flowers. I just literally, again, it just speaks for itself. It's just so stunning. And she has a little rowboat here. How precious is this? And then she has a little seating area. Okay, I saw that little pumpkin patch on her Instagram as well. And it's just so cute. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, so this is the right side of her resident services. And oh my gosh, she has this little like um, nuptial bell, but in brown. Look how cute this is. And if you guys didn't know, this has actually been a pretty big trend where people are making like these little circle designs. And I just think it's so beautiful. And she really picked great items to use and again if you have like a cottage court island the browns just look so pretty on this island Ooh, what do we have here oh there looks like there's a market here again i'm just like obsessed with how natural looking her island looks and that there's not so much terraforming around the island it's a good mix of both terraforming and having like a flat island and i think she really creates such beautiful transition area areas for it and oh we have ruby here too cute and yeah i think this is just a cute little market she has okay so i think i'm going to continue on the bottom parts of the island oh we have wade here oh my gosh this is her house wow she did again amazing job we've seen a few diagonal um little like flower gardens and now she has one in front of her house and this just looks so beautiful what a great what a great idea to do in front of your house i feel like i always struggle with decorating my house because i always want to like clutter it but this is a great way to show you just all you need is some flowers and it just looks so beautiful and i love the waterscaping it really makes it its own and again just reaching all those cottage core vibes it looks so stunning i am just obsessed oh and i like that she put her mailbox over here i don't know it creates its own little space for it once again just so beautiful and we have another little transition area i really like the way she waterscaped her island it just looks so beautiful oh my gosh i think i saw her have a picture of this like exact area and i was like so obsessed with it how cute is this transition area wow okay so i'm gonna hop on over here and i'm just gonna explore what we have right here how cute is this it's a little laundry area oh and her campsite's right here Oh, see, I like how simple this is. It's just a cute little marshmallow receiving sand and it's just right on the beach. I honestly, I like simple and that looks really cute how it was. Okay, over here, oh, again, another beautiful little garden of a lavender field and oh my gosh. Okay, I actually just found this lavender code and I haven't used it yet, but it's nice actually seeing someone use it because it's such a beautiful code and it just looks so cute in this spot. 
Oh, she's just killing it with all these beautiful little gardens and flowers and it just all blends so well together. Okay, it looks like there's a path leading up here and we have Chevre's house. Look how beautiful this is. And there's Boone. Again, I just like how she kind of separates each area, making it its own by having waterscaping. I'm not sure if there's anything here. Nope. Okay. Oh, it looks like there's another section back there we will look at later. <laughs> um, but again, just how everything flows. Oh my gosh, there's Bo! If you guys don't know, I'm like obsessed with Bo. He's just a precious little angel. Um, but yeah, it looks like she gave her a little plant shop, which is just too cute. And I love the little plant wreath that she has on there. Or flower wreath, sorry. But this is just such a great little area for Chevre. Okay, we're gonna continue on. Hello, my lovely Bo. I am just think he's the cutest little bean ever. <laughs> um, but again, just like, I love that she put these wagons on top of these codes because it looks like you're like dragging them in the dirt. And I don't know, it's a cute little touch to add. And again, just beautiful flower decorating. Oh, wow. Oh, this leads to her museum. I like this little bridge right here, breaking it up with, again, beautiful waterscaping. Oh, this is just so precious, and I'm obsessed with her island. Again, this is a great example of a simple but beautiful museum entrance. You really don't need too much. Like, for my museum, I think I, like, cluttered it, <laughs> and this just looks so beautiful. I'm having the statue right here and this brick pathing. Everything just looks so nice and i don't know i think this is a great space for it okay over here there is a little pumpkin patch and we have her nooks cranny this is just so beautiful again i'm sorry guys this is my only vocabulary because her island truly is just so beautiful like what I just love the little farm core elements and she's just making it the coziest island. I'm just so blown away. Okay, I know there's stuff back there, but I'm gonna quickly go down here. And oh my gosh, there's a little laundry island. I'm I'm just obsessed with little islands and again her waterscaping is just so beautiful. Wow, she just did an amazing job at decorating her island. Okay, so maybe I will do the right side on the side. Sorry guys, I'm going all over. Um, but we have a little strawberry farm. Oh my gosh. I saw this on Instagram as well. And I just, again, the little lace detailings are just so pretty here. And ah, I just love it so much. It's just such a beautiful strawberry farm like this is how you should do a strawberry farm it's just too cute like guys i'm screaming this is so beautiful Yee. okay so we're gonna continue on this way and again this is right next to the lake and we have another villager house and just again beautifully decorated and just very natural love the dirt paths we're gonna continue on this way and oh my gosh what i have no words look at how beautiful this is i believe this is her secret beach over there this is just what i literally have no words this is just so beautiful look at this meadow and just all the bright colors they all they all just complement each other so well and this is just so so beautiful and then it leads right to her little hidden beach here and great choice of using the barrels and a little boat here i just can't get over this meadow like look how stunning this is wow what a great entrance to the secret beach i'm just like so blown away by this right now so we're gonna continue on and i believe we just have the back right side of her islands and okay so we saw her nooks cranny so we'll just go through here and oh my gosh guys again another amazing meadow like what i just 
I feel like if I tried to attempt to make something like this, I would not be able to. And this is just so beautiful. Like, what? I don't know whose house that is, but they are very lucky. I would love to move here because these flowers just make me so happy. And again, she did the little wheelbarrow thing with the lines on the ground. I'm just obsessed. This is just so precious. Wow. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna go up on this terraform here first, and it looks like there's a little bit of a forest, and oh my gosh, is this a lookout area? It is! I love when people have, like, little hidden lookout areas, it's just, like, look how cute that is. Ah! I love it. I'm not sure, is there anything else? Okay, so it's just, like, a hidden little lookout area. How precious, and such a cute little, like place to add okay I did see an arrow this way so <gasps> okay guys I've been waiting for this amazing flower field let me just climb up here real quick because we have to we have to get the full effect literally have no words this is just so beautiful I had brought her all of these purple flowers and I had no clue what she was going to turn it into but honestly this just looks so stunning what she did with it and ugh, it's just like a beautiful little like well, not little big <laughs> lavender farm and i'm just obsessed that it's in like a diagonal way like what how precious is this and marshall is over here being a cutie i'm not sure whose house this is but again they're very very lucky oh <gasps> okay so <laughs> This is one of my favorite, all-time favorite Studio Ghibli movies. It's Totoro! My gosh! I honestly need this code. I wish I had more code space because I would dedicate a space for him, but this is just the most precious little code ever of Totoro, and ugh! And I was talking to her about it, and she was saying this is one of her favorite Studio Ghibli movies as well, and I'm just... I'm in love. This is this is probably the highlight of this tour right here because Totoro is just being so precious. Wow, this is literally so stunning. And guys, I think this is actually the last area because the museum's right in front of me. I'm just gonna run up here one more time and just double check if that was everything. I cannot believe how fast we finished this tour. I was just having so much fun. This is honestly such a beautiful island and it's just so natural and she did an amazing job with all of her terraforming and waterscaping yeah guys this looks like this is it oh my gosh so i'm going to find a place to end off the video and i will be right back and see you guys there okay guys i decided to end this video off in front of resident services because i just love this area so much a huge thank you again to anna for allowing me to share her beautiful island with you all i just had so much fun exploring and just running around as always i will have all of her socials linked in the description below as well as the dream address so you guys can go visit if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and if you're not already subscribed be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!